Newton's third law. When object A exerts a force on object B, object B exerts an equal force in the opposite direction of object A. It sounds a little bit complicated, and you've also heard it as in uh, for every action there's a reaction, but that's kind of not true. So here we have a person and they're pushing a box. So they want to push the box that way. So they exert a force on the box. So this, here's object A, and there's object B. So when A exerts a force on object B, Here's the force on A. There's FA, it's on B. This is the force from A on B. Now, A is pushing B that way. There's an equal and opposite force on the hands of the little guy. On the hands of the little guy. Oops. Right there. So this is the force from B, and that's the force from B on A. So A is pushing B, B is pushing A. They are equal and in opposite directions. So the same, as hard as A is pushing on B, B is pushing on A. But the key to Newton's third law and not getting lost is this little piece right here. So. Newton third law pairs are always on different objects. So the moment you're on a same object, you're like, oh, then it's not a Newton's third law set. It doesn't follow this rule. So as simple as sitting on a chair. So um, the chair is pushing you up. That's the force from the chair and the person is pushing down on the chair. Ooh, I can't get, oh, there we go. Pushing down on the chair. That's the force of the person on the chair. We also know that gravity is acting on here, but that's acting on the same person as the chair. So even though, even though they may have the same magnitude and direction, that does, or an opposite direction, that doesn't mean they're Newton's third law pairs. So here, the, if we look at the dot, the, the forces that are on the purses, forces on person, you have the force of the chair going up and you have the force of gravity pulling it down, but these are not an, an a Newton's third law set. The opposite of the force of the person, the force of the chair on the person is the force of the person on the chair. Remember, you have to switch a and B, and then B and A, you switch them around. And then classically, you have the person punching a wall. So the force of the wall on the wall by the hand, the hand pushes the wall that way, the wall pushes the hand that way. So as hard as you hit the wall, the wall hits back and hits in the opposite direction. So the force of the punch is going to equal the force on the wall just in the opposite direction. And then what ends up happening is that you break your hand. Don't punch walls.